Beautiful. Um, I, I had a feeling that today would be special, and I, I'm delighted to be among such a rich and diverse group of humans. We're all seeking to reflect the many. Thank you. You want to you make this a Q&A? We can do that. Um, that's later. This lens of creative expression, I think we all share a really deep and meaningful privilege. Here's my Shakespeare bit. We hold, as were, the mirror up to nature. I must have been very emotional when I wrote this. We could just scroll down to the thank yous. But um, playing Tony over these many years and that thematic idea that technology can guide our species toward enlightenment or destruction. Both inspiring and relatable to audiences worldwide. I've got your back. She's given voice to this heroic role for numerous projects, including a film sequel, video games and television shows, and most recently, Walt Disney Animation Studios' hit film, Ralph Breaks the Internet. Sometimes your song can't start until you go someplace to reflect what may not currently saves the world on camera as Agent Melinda May, a.k.a. the Cavalry, on the ABC series Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ming Na's award-winning character voices are to describe it. It just feels so good. Obvious from that video, Ming Na Wen has broken the mold and made her mark as a Disney princess. Marvel star, and when The Mandalorian debuts this fall, she'll officially become part of the Star Wars universe as well. <laughs> that is quite a trifecta, from a princess to an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. to a galaxy far, far away. So please welcome Disney legend, Ming Na Wen. Employed by them. <laughs> I, I have hit every bucket list thanks to Disney, and um, it's it's an, it's impossible that I'm here right now amongst all the amazing legends of this year and and past years. Most ancient form is a bit like the Greek form of acting in the ancient Greek, where they had masks on. In our case, the mask is the animators in drawing. You know? A beloved role that continues to this day. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. But a king's time as ruler rises and falls like the sun. Despite decades of compelling roles, it was a single day recording session in March of 1977 where James Earl Jones breathed menacing life into one of the most iconic movie villains of all time. If you only knew the power of the dark side. Delivering a powerful performance that is forceful in every meaning of the word. <laughs> Commander, tear this ship apart until you found those plans and bring me the passengers. I want them alive! Star Wars and its sequels smashed box office records, forever connecting Jones with a role he has played for over 40 years. The Force is strong in this one. Oh, that voice. From the menace of Darth Vader to the kind wisdom of Mufasa, James Earl Jones is the voice behind some of the most iconic characters and most memorable lines in history. We can think of no one more worthy of being, rec being recognized as a Disney legend. Unfortunately, James couldn't join us in Anaheim today, but he asked us to share this message with all of you. I'm sorry I can't be with you here today, but I'm sure you're having a fantastic time. I've had the great honor to work with Disney several times over the years, and it is a, a great honor to be included in the Disney Legends Hall of Fame. Thank you, and may the force be with you. Yeah, 
Oh, someone went past the shop and I saw him and they got my back. Oh, yeah! Okay, this is so exciting. I am in line trying to get the limited edition D23 exclusive Ariel doll in her pink dress. And it looks like I'm gonna be in good shape, but let's just hope for the best here. All right, they just opened the doors. We're heading on over to the Disney store. Look at that. The lamp from the Broadway Aladdin. That's the Broadway section. We'll look at that later. Guys, no queue right here. Where are you going? No queue right here. Later. <laughs> oh my. Okay, that got chaotic. Some people are starting to run. Okay, so they're letting them in little bits at a time and they have to line up right here. So the line goes all the way. Right down line. It's it's people need to calm down. It's just merchandise people. Calm down. Calm down. This is how you get hurt. Think the Black Black Friday stuff. Thank goodness Disney has security. Well done. I Thank love you. that. You need to work on the jungle cruise. <laughs> I, I should. I think you should. Yeah. So these are $12.95. They are made for D23. You can purchase not one per person, but five per person. Oh, nice. That's awesome. How much are they? How much are they? But isn't there, but should be like one per person for everything? Um, uh, the limited edition things are one per person. Kind of, but what about just like These are five per person because it's a special edition. Oh, okay, that makes um, sense. Almost there. Look at this. The Masquerade series. This is a doll series that was just released yesterday on Friday. And only two of the princesses were released alongside their princes. So we got Prince Edward, which is Giselle. She is from the live action slash uh, animated movie. And of course, the other one, the beautiful Aurora with Prince Philip. This is gorgeous. So I just grabbed my Ariel. There's the designer collection over here. Uh, oh, no, oh no, thanks. Just Ariel, but thanks. <laughs> Look at the Ariel stuff. That's crazy. That. Yeah, it's really crazy through here. <laughs> Hang on, let me just get a shot of this. Here. Maybe we better go check out. Just a quick view over all this stuff. This is just. I don't know. This is gorgeous. Part of the Masquerade doll series. Look how much that is. Wow. Hi guys. Hi. How are you? Doing great. I'm having a blast. There's a dream store over there, and I heard it sells dreams. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. It does. It, 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 it really. It <laughs> see? I, I see like my frame, like my my face is like. <laughs> Leaving frame. There you like, go. Okay. That's How you doing? Good. Oh, I'm having you a blast. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm tired. I got my dolls. So I'm tired now. I got my doll too. Yeah. 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 But we're we're exhausted, guys. Guys, it was crazy. If you if you like if you skip past that part, go back and replay. And you said you saw someone like. Tell us oh yeah. What happened? Yeah, she got trampled. Yeah, yeah. But it was a massive trample. It was a massive. Trample. It's like wait, we're all okay, but yeah. So <laughs> So, yeah, but hey. that, That's how much energy I have right now, I'm sorry. No, I mean, hey, Eric, we're all tired, right? It's, a wrong, it's been a long, it's been a long day, so. Go ahead, continue. Okay. Oh, um, I, I didn't mean to keep talking. No, 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 no. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta re rejuvenate my fluids. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, so I'm just so Eric is obviously leaving a little early. He just came by. He has a lot of stuff too. But me, I'm gonna be hanging out here all day. But um, I mean, I'm exhausted. But I'll we'll just keep, take it easy. Take it easy. Just enjoy yourself. I'm having a blast, guys. So but you're having fun, right? Yeah. All right. So it's Eric Peter Collison, guys. If you don't if you haven't subscribed to his channel, go ahead and, and uh, go ahead and subscribe. Give him some love, and I'll put a link in the description down below. So it's nice to see you. Thank you. Nice seeing you as always. Mm -hmm. All right. Dream it up. Yeah. <laughs> 
kind of shopping around. I'm actually at the dream store. Eric and I decided to go in. Just wanted to get these Dapper Dan Pops. <gasps> there they are. They are everywhere. They're free. They're everywhere. <laughs> so I want to show you how you correctly look at a pop box, okay? Okay. Oh, okay. Very good. We got two camera show. Uh, so let's, let's slide this out very gently. Okay. okay. Now let's look at this corner here. Are you looking? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now look at that sticker. Look at that shine. Look at it shine. Okay. There you okay. go. Okay. Now see, I see this little white dot there. Uh -huh. I don't like that. Now it comes off. I look at this. This looks like a mint box. Yeah, it does. I have a, I mean... Yeah, it's a pretty good shape. This is $50. Which is your favorite? The red, um, purple, blue, or yellow? You, oh, you know what? I like red. You like the red? Yeah, yeah, because it looks good. Yeah, I like the... What do you... I, what do you think? I like... I like... Hold on. This is this is actually tough. Um, this is uh, I really like red, so I'm just gonna go with red. Okay. I good. almost said purple, that's but good. yeah. Okay, I'll go with purple. purple. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's how choice. you. Yeah. That's how you look for Dapper Dan. And, and pops. And pops. And pops. And pops. And pops. Okay. Fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's it's price. Well, it's it's a D23 exclusive. Exclusive to a lot. <laughs> oh, look at that. We got more. But there's no way I'm uh, yeah. not buying multiple of these. So what? What do you? What do you do if you get home and you find like a like a tiny little scratch? Don't you have like some special uh, uh, cleaner? Yeah, I, I clean these guys up. I rub them. I rub them with my lotions, my my my, my plastic lotions, my. Oh yeah, the stuff that you got from Amazon. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little, it's a little <laughs> secret, but you can get it on Amazon. <laughs> Stuff that you get at Hannaford or you know yeah, true, uh, yeah. Gelson's, yes. And you just rub it. You rub it. You rub it like you never rubbed anything before. Okay, you have to rub it that hard. Or that soft. Okay. You heard that, right? you heard that's that. soft. Yeah. <laughs> you, that. you know what I'm talking about? At home, you're watching this, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there you go. That's that's how you do it. Very nice right. for the tip. Or, yeah. You know what? I, hey, trust me, guys. He he's an expert in pops. He oh, really yeah. is. He has like over like. I keep looking over here. It's way too much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to shop around a little bit here, take a look around. We've got some really nice yeah. stuff. There's this limited edition of 2300 Yeah, How much is that? If you could just tell me the price. Uh, do you want to know the price? Yeah. You, the, you, you, you want, I mean, the price, please. This is getting naughty. This is, the, this is just, this is, I, I like to show people what the, the price tag. it should be on the bottom. underneath? Yep. I can't, I can't see that. Okay, yeah, it was on the bottom. It's a hundred and twenty dollars, guys. Plus, for, it's it's not. I mean, and this and it's a D twenty three exclusive. I mean, how much? I heard you say one hundred and twenty for that. All right. Yes. <laughs> I mean, look at this, guys. Sandy. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of really cool stuff here. Oh my goodness. I've seen this online. I think I think I've seen this in the Parks Collection. It's um, wood. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Look at this, it's Aurora. Let's see. Very nice colors, that's really nice. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. $195 for that. Some artwork up there. So guys, this is the legendary Margaret Carey. She was the model for Tinkerbell because a lot of us know, most of us know that Tinkerbell doesn't speak. So, but she did a lot of the, the motions. So, cause they, back in those days, and they still do it today, they would have actors doing certain um, action scenes so they could get the prop, like realistic poses and stuff. And she's about to appear any minute now, and I am so excited. She is 90 years old. A true legend and a true classic. Because Tinkerbell, she's such an iconic character. Look how beautiful she is. 
There she is, the legendary Tinkerbell. She looks amazing. She really does, doesn't she, guys? For 90 years. Uh, why don't we put her in the back? Her background. She looks amazing. She looks good. She looks like she. Oh, she looks like she's in pretty good health. I mean, oh look at the glasses. Wait, what time are you here until? I'll be back. No, no, you know, you really do look amazing. I mean, you and you are amazing. You're the Tinkerbell. I know. I know. Isn't that something? Yeah. What a thought. I know, and my goodness, and like. You, I mean, it must have been, it must have, I bet it was a lot of hard work. No, it was more fun. As, when you're an actor and you work with people like Mark Davis, it's just a delight. I love Mark Davis. My favorite princess is Aurora. Then I would say, yeah. sorry, the Mark Davis. So, I'm Margaret Carey. I'm Tinkerbell, the original reference model. My director was Mark Davis, who designed Tinkerbell. How cool is that? Anyway, many years later, I'm having lunch with Mark at Club 1533, <clears throat> excuse me, and I don't know, but I just had to ask him, Mark, whatever possessed you to, to design Tinkerbell to have her underpants showing? And Mark looked at me and says, yes, Margaret, but did you notice they're always clean? Here you go! <laughs> Mark, good, story. good. Oh, that wow. That's a, I didn't even hear that. I haven't heard that story. Well, yeah. no, that's because I know it. It's because you know it personally, firsthand. No. Thomas Kincaid's nephew, Zach Kincaid, will be here to do signings. You have to buy something, of course, from this store so you can sign it. You don't have to go for the big stuff. You can buy something smaller. So, you know, a puzzle. Imagine he could do a puzzle. They said anything here. Of course, we got the smaller stuff. There's there's so much stuff to do here, guys. It's, it's really true when they say you cannot take in everything. I'm really loving that Aristocats over there. Star Wars. I love his artwork. I yeah, and the fact that his nephew's continuing the tradition. This is so exciting. The voice of Aladdin, Scott Wagner. Wagner. I apologize, I can't remember how to properly pronounce his last name. And the singing voice of Aladdin, Brad Kane, are going to be here. And the voice of Jasmine, Linda Larkin, is also going to be here. Unfortunately, during the show, they will not allow uh, pictures or, or video recording, so I apologize, but they had their reasons. This is the ending ceremony. Some of the stuff that they used on the Broadway show. Lion King, look over here. Of Elsa. This is amazing. Look at the details on that glove. So with the Broadway, they are celebrating 25 years. It all started with the Beast. If you listen to the songs of Beauty and the Beast, it has that Broadway type style to it. Of course, Frozen. All the way up. Look down here, it shows you just a clip from that. Look at the gems. 
It is day three at D23, and I'm back inside the Expo Arena. I'm so excited for this as well. This is the 30th anniversary for The Little Mermaid. Who knows what surprises they'll have today. Christian Anderson was reborn at the Walt Disney Studios as an original animated film. Oh, 
on the cheek. Cinderella. 
gowns. All the Cinderella gowns. So there's the Cinderella dress from Into the Woods. I like how her dress and shoes are gold. In this film, Cinderella is a different kind of hair I grew up with. The texture of the woods, the colors of the woods were definitely starting points. We chose gold for Cinderella's dress because we circled back to the tree. And the tree had a lot of gold and the leaves and the green. So there's little references all the way through the movie that refer back to a woodland world. When I create things, I think the finish and the finesse of the way things are done is an important part of how they feel. It's sort of a holistic thing for me to keep the detail alive. Every princess dress is to try and give it a story model appeal so it's not as period heavy. But I am so close, I could just reach out. Fairy tale yes. I'm not going to touch it. I can though, there's no rope. That's the element that we were trying to get across. We were so limited in Vancouver, fabric dictated a lot of things. The moment when you have to ask her and watch that transform, it is totally. And this is what Anna Kendrick wore. Cinderella's tiara. She had the petticoat underneath, and she did, I remember it was like seven layers of different colors to give it that watercolor reflective. So beautiful. This dress was heavy. Lily James, how she danced in that is amazing. It looks so natural, but it's heavy all those layers and of course now this is just a prop they just cgi that onto her foot it does not fit any human foot at all swarovski crystal wedding crown. My goodness, look at that, all the details. Thin metal. That's really beautiful. Really just gorgeous. Simple, elegant, but yet royal. When I create things, I think the finish the way things are done. He looks kind of intimidating. Is that pie? Captain Barbosa.
the feast. Okay, I gasped when I saw this. This is from Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It's my favorite Disney live action film of all time. This is one of the costumes that the White Witch wears. This is the White Witch, worn by Tilda Swinton. It's one, because her, her dress melts. Tilda Swinton wears this, and throughout the movie, uh, first we first see her, it starts off as like big and white and cold and she's, she's got her total control over Narnia and this is not that dress it's part of that melting period Aslan's returning winter is disappearing springs coming back and this was done in pieces like they were just patching it together I think all of them were they were all like that same material it's been a long time since I've seen the bonus features but this is incredible and that wig was also very heavy very heavy, like in between takes, Tilda had to uh, lean because like her, her neck was getting sore. Right across from Jafar is Aladdin and Jasmine's turquoise outfit. It's very green, which is a turquoise color. A green kind of turquoise. Look at this. Clara's purple dress from the Nutcracker. Oh, it's so soft and elegant. Chic. And look at those shoes. I can see why Mackenzie Foy just absolutely adored this dress. She adored all of them. She, each and every one of her costumes she loved. Edward from Enchanted. And there are Swarovski crystals on him. I can see them. It's what's reflecting. It's kind of hard to see in the camera, but they are there. They are there. And I can see the Swarovski crystals. Now these you could see a lot better. That's what happens when you wear a costume and transportation. You get a little bit of fraying. I'm sure the other side's fine. I'm, I know it did not look like that in the film. But they've done a great job of keeping it up. But that's, that's reality. It's just, it just doesn't always look so perfect. That's like it's the aftermath sometimes. Beautiful. I'm, I'm in heaven right now. This is gorgeous. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. 
everything here, I'm having a lot of fun. This is, I'm really enjoying this. It's so nice not to have the glass display. You get that reflection, and I hate that. And they knew fans were gonna be taking pictures, so that was very, very considerate, Disney. Captain Jack Sparrow's compass. Oh, the fabric and the detailing. It's so amazing. It's incredible. Giselle and the evil Queen Narissa from Enchanted. Look at the back of Nurissa's collar. It's like snakeskin. better way to have by the exit than Cinderella. We start with her and we end with her. There's lights. Those stars, those light up. This carriage is a real working one. They had to build that. That's so beautiful. <laughs> so gorgeous. And they've had this thing at uh, Walt Disney World. It's so, so gorgeous. It's it's a real fairy tale. Look, look. they just gave me yeah, just go now. a bookmark look who I found here at D23 it's the amazing stylish Amber Arden oh, thank you honey <laughs> yes and today I am snow buffet I'm a mandolin princess mashup nice Coming over there but I am it's towards the end of the day of D3 of D23 and I'm having a blast and it's at Amber Arden it's my Instagram and my YouTube is Amber Arden and I'm slowly putting more videos up and we'll love for you to go see it. Mwah. All right. Thank you so much, Amber. Oh, we you. love you. Oh, I love you too, guys. <laughs> I can't believe this. I've walked by this thing so many times, but my, my, my eye kept going up to the costumes. I'm thinking like, oh, I don't know that movie. It's a movie I haven't even seen. But look, this is Lady's Doghouse, the new upcoming live action movie. Isn't that amazing? And look, look, here's her collar. Pay attention when you go to expos, guys, because you never know what you're going to find.